Hello, second graders. I'm excited to share more with you about your Bible, but we're going to begin again with our song. Ready? This is a Bible and it's true, alive and active, help for you. It's all about Jesus beginning to end, how God loves us and is our friend. This is a Bible, yes, it's true, God's great gift to read on through. So now that we've learned so many things about why God has given us the Bible and what makes it such an amazing book, I want to show you some more things that are special about your Bible. So we're going to start in the table of contents. You'll notice that it's divided into two parts, the Old Testament and the New Testament. Testament is a big word, but it basically just means promise. So there's the old promise and the new promise. And what's in the middle, what divides them, is Jesus. But you'll notice that there's actually 66 smaller books that make up the Old and New Testament. And each book is even broken down further into chapters and verses. So if you want to look up a verse, say you want to look up John 3.16, you're going to start by finding the book of John. It's in the New Testament. Then you're going to find chapter 3. It's in the big numbers, the big blue numbers. And then verse 16. And then you can read, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son that whoever believes in him will not perish, but have eternal life. So that's called a Bible reference, and that's how we look verses up in our Bibles. But this book actually has a lot more really neat tools and features that you can use to learn more about your Bible. It starts with some words to remember. Now, God tells us that one of the things that we need to do with our Bible is hide the words in our heart. That way then we know how he wants us to act and what we should do in certain situations like we talked about. So all of these, in a lot of these pages, there's a little box called words to treasure. And these are great verses that it would be something that you could memorize. You can learn those words to treasure and it can be something that you can treasure in your heart. There's also lots of really cool things called did you know boxes. So sometimes they use some language in the Bible that we might not really understand or talk about situations that we don't really know about. And so the did you know boxes just gives you some more information and tells you about some interesting facts that are happening in the verses around that in the Bible. Next, there's also some really cool things called life in Bible times. And this one is really neat because it shows about Solomon's temple and it talks about how did they build Solomon's temple? What was life like? in Bible times. So there's all these really neat things that you can find throughout your Bible that gives you a little bit more insight into what life was like during Jesus' time. Along the same lines, there are some other boxes that talk about people in Bible times. So it gives you some more information about maybe specific people or just kind of generally how they felt about people during those times. Another kind of helpful tool for you in your Bible. Next, one of the neat things is that there's something called live it. We talked about how the Bible is alive and active, remember, and how that's the part that we use to give us wisdom and guidance for our daily life. Well, your Bible has these great boxes that say live it, and in it, it gives you some wisdom and guidance on how that section of Bible can actually be applied right to our life. So it gives you a real help right there with that. Along with that, there's also an introduction to every book of the Bible. So there's 66, one, 66 introductions that tell you who wrote the book, when it was written, who it was written to, and some of the key verses and stories that are in it. So that also can be a great help to know what is this book about. So when you go look up a verse, you can also find out who, is this, who wrote this book and what's it all about. Do you ever know, do you have any idea what a concordance is? I know that's a really long word, but basically it just means another way for you to help find a verse that you're looking for. And your Bible has a pretty awesome one. So if you just kind of flip to the end, there's some maps, which are also great at the back. It tells you all the different like life of the Old Testament, Paul's journeys, where Jesus went in his ministry. So check out the maps for sure. But right before the maps, it also has a dictionary and concordance. So sometimes in a verse, you might not know what one of the words means. You can look it up in the dictionary in the back, but there's also a concordance. So say I'm trying to remember a verse that has something about faith in it. Well, in the back, you could look up faith and it gives you some Bible verses that all talk about faith. So it'll help you find the verse that you're looking for. These are some awesome tools that are in your Bible and we really hope that you get to use them and find out more about the things that God wants you to know in it. One of the things that we also want to point out is there's some really cool kind of colored pullouts 
in the middle of your Bible with lots of different neat information that show you all kinds of different things. And in one of them, it has the numbers of the Ten Commandments. Now, this is a little bit different than how we number them. It doesn't really matter. God didn't actually give us numbers for our commandments. He didn't say, here's commandment number one, here's commandment two. He just gave us the commandments, and then we as humans broke them up into ten. So some churches number them one way, some churches number them another. It doesn't really matter. They're all the same commandments. So this list right here is numbered a little bit differently than what you'll learn in, say, confirmation in a couple years, but the commandments are still the same. So we just wanted to point that out to you, though. We also in your folder have included this incredible worksheet that you can do just to get more into your Bible and find all those cool features out for yourself. And you can get to experience what your great tools are in the Bible that you have. One last thing that I wanted to encourage you about, one of the things that I talked to your parents about was something called Take Five. And we have this little booklet in your folders, and this is a great way that you can use your Bible every day. There's a list here of verses for every day of the year and you can look one up. It's about an aspect or a promise that God makes for you, and you can talk about it with your parents. The take five includes read, you're gonna read the Bible verse, or share, sorry, share first, you're gonna share highs and lows. You're gonna read the Bible verse, you're gonna talk about the Bible verse, you're gonna pray together as a family, and then you're gonna bless each other. So again, this is another great way that we would really encourage you to use your Bible. We're again so excited that this Bible is now yours. You get to have this amazing Word of God, and we pray that you will use it and you will gain wisdom and guidance for your life. Thanks so much for being a part of this Faith Milestone journey. We are praying for you, and God bless you.